Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number fifty-two. Wow! Because <laughs> you shamed me last time. I can't get over the fact that you know the number. Because you shamed me last. You you need to stop knowing the number. Okay, I'll I'll forget the next time. I promise. We'll do a double edit once, whenever double record, and then I'll make you. I'll I'll flip the script. Whatever. What's anyway, up, Tashu? Nothing. Why are um, we looking homeless? Yeah, but the, for the video watchers, yeah, we're li- not homeless. That's mean. We're uh, in athleisure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because we just came back from a failed attempt to play badminton. Yeah. Because today is one of the windiest days I've seen in a while in Delhi slash Gurgaon. It freaked Natasha out. I was alone at home in the morning. So basically, our uh, TV unit. is in front of a window and then we have this like canvas e canvas e blind yeah. blind behind it so that the window is not visible because it's one ugly and two what kind of viewing experience is that for tv mm-hmm. um and it was so windy today that the it was creating this like suction cuz even though the windows are closed like there is still some amount of air that comes through and it kept making these like Noises, <laughs> just terrifying. And I was like, "Can you, uh, can you for the audio <laughs> listeners?" <laughs> and I was like, "I'm so sorry." Where is this coming from? Yeah. And like, it took me at least like I think the fourth time I realized what it was because the first three times I was like, <laughs> "There's a no ghost in the house." Um. So yeah, it's a really windy day, and we decided to go and play badminton, and then. We decide, and then because we couldn't play our full game, we thought, "Why not record a podcast yeah. episode?" And We didn't have too much time, and this is gonna be a short one because I have a call after this. Yeah, Natasha is the global workforce you see, so uh, tends to have global calls at global time. <laughs> Whatever. I hate it. I hate not being able to chill at eight pm. You yeah. know, like yeah. it's it's not nice. Um, But what are we talking about today, Natasha? Okay, so we're talking about the fact that we're like playing sports. Oh. On days. Oh. So I just three times before we started recording was like, what are we talking about? And I was like, we talk about sports and we talk about how we're playing games. And he's like, but what are we talking about? And I was like, that's the point. Like that's what I want to do yeah. is talk about our sporting career. Oh, a sporting that has, career. That has started uh, last month, <laughs> right? Yeah. We we did like a pact when we were in Sri Lanka that we we're gonna start playing something. Uh, and but we started before physical. Sri Lanka as well. Yeah, but that's when we were like, okay, we can do badminton. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So basically, long story. Well, long story. Let me tell. Let's get there. Yeah. Is that um, my brother and a bunch of his friends love to play sports together? It's cute. Like I wish we had a community who would play with us, minus the community that lives in Sushant apartments who keeps messaging on groups at Archer is on saying want to play today. So I don't want to do that, but like I'd love for our friends to be like enthusiastic and want to play with us and. Our photographer from the wedding, Diksha, said that she'd want to play with us once, like the wedding season is over. So that's exciting. Yeah. But um, so with Nick, with my brother and his friends, we basically started playing like <clears throat> basketball, and I say started playing as we played a lot. We went like three times. Three times. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> the third time, my brother had an unfortunate fall. So did Archit actually, but Archit wasn't like. Serious yeah. as a fall, my brother tore his ACL and had surgery, and now is in recovery, and so can't play sports anymore. Um, because of and then because of all of that, we kind of stopped going as well. Um, the ban- uh, basketball was actually really fun, yeah. and both Archit and I used to play in school. Him more seriously than me, but uh, I would like to think that I can play a little bit. <laughs> She plays pretty well, yeah. Yeah, it runs in the genes. Yeah. Because of my brother, sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just like it's a fun activity. It's a good way to like, f- for me especially, I don't enjoy going to the gym. Um, or any sports that have no goal, like she doesn't like walking or running. That's not a sport. It's a fucking hobby. <laughs> Regardless, any cardio. Okay, you know activity. what? I want our listeners to vote whether walking is a sport, <laughs> and, yeah. and this is like non-athletic walking. Like yes, there are athletes who do those fucking. Fast walking thingies. Yeah, but like what I mean is like physical activity, right? Like we're also like when we're saying sports, it's not like tomorrow we're becoming national players. Right? I will. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yes, Natasha will become a national. And let's not player. forget how much we went, how much we swam in Sri Lanka. Yeah. 
Swam. Swam. Swam is also a thing, you know that? Yeah. When did you learn? In school in the seventh grade? Because of some like book we read. I'm sure. And and like the teacher said swam and all of us were like, how is she teaching us English? She said swam right now. <laughs> and then I, and then we finally like figured that swam is also a thing. Oh. Yeah. Did you feel bad for the teacher? No. That's classic <laughs> mean girl behavior. Like. <laughs> Things they should be teaching us. Anyway, I uh I do want to tell the viewers that and listeners. No, just the viewers because they're oh. seeing me. That I actually went and put a little bit of shit under my eyes because I looked so bad. Because <laughs> we just come back from sporting day. <laughs> sporting day. Sporting minutes we came back from. And, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think what we're trying to do is get more physical yeah. uh, overall. Um, our, our lives are not hectic, but uh, we both don't really have like a schedule down yet. And that means that, like, a lot of things are, like, up in the air. Like, you know, we don't have, like, an activity that we do to, yeah. to be physical. So this is, like, us trying to create that, like, ritual. Yeah. Um, I also think that, like, it, a lot of it comes from the fact that this this was a conversation we'd had before we got married. Where you were, like, I'm going to find a gym and I'm going to start working out. And I was, like, can you please wait till the winter gets over? I think, like... It was a lot of just the fact that once you start going to the gym, I will not see you yeah. at all because you leave in the morning. Like you just wake me up and you leave at nine in the morning and then you come back at like whatever six. And then if you go to the gym, that's seven yeah. thirty. And then we'll see each other for like what, three hours. And like that just, it feels so like wasteful because you go to office and I don't go to office. And like, I think playing a sport together or whatever is just like a good way of spending time with each other while still getting that physical activity in which I know you need yeah. and I don't mind having yeah so like I think that's a that's kind of the I like I think that's why I don't mind it yeah. as much as I mind going to the gym yeah if you go to the gym I'm not coming with you you know I know but I also won't go in the morning or evening I'll probably go in the morning but then I won't see you before you leave for office either yeah, you will. I'm planning to go right here, like walk. But even then. And come back. You don't have that much time in the morning. Yeah, I'll have to change my schedule. Boo. Sleep early. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll figure. See, this is this is one of the things but, that we have to figure. Yeah, so let's <clears throat> let's talk about other meaningful ways that like couples can spend time together. Oh, we're done with sporting careers. No, this is <laughs> <laughs> the topic was our sporting career. It is my sporting career, Arju. Okay. I'm gonna start playing pickleball, Arshi. You are? Yeah, well, because they found a place. You will? Yeah, we can go try. I don't wanna play with certain people. <laughs> but we can and go. This is the people who are inviting us to play. We can go on our own. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We'll find. Okay, couples around the Sushant Lok area. <laughs> Gurgaon, Jenny. Hit us up. Yeah. No, not Gurgaon. Like, if you live in fucking Sona Road, don't talk to me. Sona Road is actually not that far from us. If you live in Nirvana, don't talk to me. If you live in Palabra, don't talk to me. Yeah, I, she's done talking when to I, when in I Palabra. say Gurgaon, I only mean the phases yeah. of the <laughs> Phases. And I guess golf course extension. Phase 3 also you're counting. <laughs> I don't have any friends there anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, but you're trying to make new friends. What if they live in phase three? Guys, you should move to phase four. <laughs> and then we can play sports together. Um, yeah, so Natasha's radius of search is pretty small. But I'm sure we find someone. How do you make friends as adults? Um, through work. That's the only way. Like, I feel like the only friends we have are our work friends. Or the friends we've gone back to from like, like school. Like if you join communities and things like that. Like then what communities? Like India doesn't have that. Of course it does. Like if you go to a gym and you make a No, friend. that's not community actually. That's communal, a community group of sad people <laughs> working out and sweating together. Communal spaces is what I meant. No, like, like I feel like... If you go to a beauty parlor and you make a friend. <laughs> you know, aunties. Yeah, or like like I know I know like someone who's, who made like a really close friend because they were on a flight. Yes. Who is this? My mom? <laughs> no. Who, why would your mom make friends? I don't know. Who made a friend? Uh, I, 
I mean, okay, like Ria and Shreya. Oh, they became friends on a flight. Yeah. Oh From Delhi to Bangalore. God. That's how the they dream. That's cool. They're like besties. Yeah. And Damn. They, then they realize that they have other connections. And things of like course, because everybody knows everybody in India. Yeah. So so that's how they became friends. Oh, fascinating. So you're from there like, spaces. But my, yeah, it's rare. My thought is that like if if we had like I don't know maybe this is a startup idea for Arushi <laughs> to build like little like communal activities. Huh. Like I would I don't know like you know learning a language or like. If you're into embroidery like me, <laughs> Natasha wants to start an embroidery group. Why don't you? Yeah, maybe I will. Yeah, you should. People, Shreya knows our embroider as well, yeah. so maybe we can sh- embroider together. Yeah. Maybe we should call her for badminton. She lives right here. Yeah, we can. We need a four. Put that on Shreya. Okay. But uh, she also goes climbing. So. Yeah, it's too far. Again, like I said, if you're not in the phase. <laughs> Phases of the cookout. I mean, I'm not saying you go climbing. I'm saying that she probably wouldn't come. No, like the number of times she's called me to go climbing, but I'm like, dude, it's in Delhi. I'm not coming. Are mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you crazy? Yeah. But she goes. It's interesting. I don't know how I feel about climbing. I don't want to cut my nails. Yeah, then you can't do it. I mean, I guess I can cut my nails. Yeah, that's too far. I don't think that you're gonna reach there. I don't think the reason. I stopped playing basketball in school it was because they didn't let us have long nails. And I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and, it's, <laughs> and it's not like... Um, it, they it, used to hurt her when she used to do deadlifts as well. Like, wait. Yeah, you know, but my nail. And it's not like I get my nails done. They just naturally grow really nicely. Touch forward. <laughs> Touch real forward. <laughs> no. I don't have any around me. And, um, yeah, I just, when I cut my nails, I feel like my my hands look like Nikhil's hands, my brother's hands. So I prefer to have nails. <laughs> Do you relate? No. <laughs> I, I don't have nails. I just can't grow his nails. Yeah. I, I bite them. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, I mean, I think that should be our thing. Okay. Our, like, dirty habits. You. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> uh, audio listeners, she just digged her nose, dug her nose. I did actually. Like I pretended. Swung, like swung bits dug and then. I and pretended. Then and it. everybody could see it. Like, I didn't even do it correctly. I'm such an idiot. Okay, genuine question. Yeah. If you were to become a sports person. Me? Yeah. Okay. What sport would you want to play? And this is like, this has nothing to do with the skill that you already have or a sport that you think you can play. Yeah. But like, what would it be? Because I have a great one and there's no way I can do it. Uh, I feel like my sport would be like rowing. You? Yeah. Like Jack Ryan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's and lessons in chemistry. Yeah. Okay, fascinating, I guess. It's one of the oldest sports in the world. You can go rowing in the Yamuna River. <laughs> exactly why I can't do it. The you oars can, will only break. Vaishnavi can join the Yamuna Park. A pro Vaishnavi of the pool. Okay, ask me. What would you like to do? I think I'd want to ski. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Makes but sense. actually, I think I'm going to be an F1 driver. Yeah. That, I mean, at I that level, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I said, it doesn't matter if you have the skill, you can do it. You can probably do, like, go-karting. You mm. can start. Mm. You have to cut your hair and all of that. I'm going to cut it anyway. Yeah, but, like, you'll actually have to, like, cut it. Because, like, it gets stuck into the fucking... I've got a hair neck, you freak. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, give me one more question. Yeah. If you, if you want this, this really, if you could win a medal, hmm. which medal would you want? Like which position? I mean, I know why you're asking this question, <laughs> right? Why don't you tell the audience why I'm asking? I don't know exactly. Why. Then. You just said, you know. I mean, I feel like the answer is still there. Yeah, the answer is not gold. Yeah. Because if you're like 
I want to win a gold medal. You're just so not humble. Yeah. That's so humble. Oh. But like, if you think about it, like all the F1 drivers, uh huh, all of them. Yeah. You ask them what is your what's your dream? Yeah. Each one of them, their dream is to become a, no to become a world champion. Fair. Right. Uh, and the small time drivers' his dream is to get on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's like yeah, sectorally like their annual goal is probably that. But like yeah. everyone wants to like win the championship. Yeah, right? which is stupid because you can't. Which is really there's stupid. no way yeah. you can. Yeah, and like on average, there's like in any year probably like one or two teams that can actually win. Usually, like by the middle of the season, it's like one team. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like last season. Sorry, this is a tangent, and probably our next episode will be, be on one because um, the drive to survive is coming out and the new season is coming out. But like they have, uh, like oh, I yes, find my, your thoughts. I, found, I lost it completely. Drivers mid season last. Oh yeah, last last year mid season, like the it was so not entertaining. Yeah, I still enjoy watching it. Yeah, but like. It, Because I'm, because I'm a believer of the sport. You're the believer of the sport. Why are you holding it like I'm a new reporter? <laughs> reporter. You're also holding it wrong, by the way. Okay, whatever you know. <laughs> It's fun to turn it around. But like, <laughs> we're talking about the mic, listeners. <laughs> anyway, I have one more question, yeah. and then we wrap this pod because I have six minutes to a call. If you were to play a sport. And like and like and not not plays. But if you were to have like some form of athletic abilities, yeah. and I'm not saying you don't, but like amazing athletic abilities, which would it be? And this is very different from your like rowing answer. Right, right. Uh, I mean, I I'd like to be more like flexible because I've never been flexible. <coughs> like I just want high high dexterity, high flexibility. I think you. It has so much to do with the fact that your legs are too long and your upper body is too short. Yeah, and I and I also reach your toes. I also think that like, genetically my back's kind of like mm-hmm. wonky because my dad's back's wonky. Yeah. And him and I share a lot, a lot of, genes. of the genes, including our birthmarks. <laughs> okay. Weird. Weird. Ask me. Ask me. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> I think I want to be able to swim better. Yeah, because I really want to go and swim with the sharks. You can still swim. No, I don't think I'll be able to save my life. So now, actually, that gets me to another question. In mm-hmm. like now that you've done like the the snorkeling, I've done it earlier as well. Right, but like now that you've done it again, mm-hmm. and like I feel like you would have more appreciation of this moment because. Like older, older, and wiser. older, wiser. But also, like you're gonna be making your own decisions now. Yeah. Uh, do you think like your next trip, if it's in the ocean or whenever we go to the ocean, do you want to do scuba dive? Sure. Or would you be still like let's do snorkeling? No. Or both. I think both are like a different experience, but like I'm, I think I'm skilled enough for the both. Considering the f- I I scuba dove. <laughs> I think dove is not a word. <laughs> Gosh. You dove into the pond. You're an English speaker. He dove into the pond. <laughs> He dived into the pond. Yeah, but you scuba dove. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I did it when I was like nineteen. Yeah. I was obviously more fearless. I think I have fears now. Yeah. What are your fears? As a girl, no, like just like I'm scared of things that I wasn't scared of. Like the water now yeah. is a little more scary to me than yeah. it was when I was nineteen. Or like. Yeah. I keep telling you that like let's go to Abu Dhabi, we'll go to Ferrari World, but I I know I'm gonna be shitting bricks when I'm really? on that. Yeah, like I was, I was in, I was seventeen when I'm on. Man, I really want to go to Abu Dhabi. We Coast we still go. Like I'm not saying I won't do it, but I feel like the yeah, anxiety yeah. of it will still. Be. And we we discussed this as well that like with every uh, snorkel as well, the anticipation that you're going into the water was like always there. But then when you when you're inside, you're totally yeah. fine. And that happened to me every time I like. Put my face into the water, so I think like I'll still feel that way about scuba diving. But like, sure, we can do scuba diving; it'll be fun. Yeah, I feel like scuba diving is almost like easier to navigate because you know yeah, the the, the really breathing good. the breathing part of it is really challenging. Yeah, and you really can't fuck up and like yeah, let's go up and take yeah, you breaths. can't do well. I mean, they weigh you down. Yeah, so like 
No, but the breathing and like the it's kind of like irritating and you you taste that shit in your mouth and it's just not like nice but like definitely the views are better but like snorkeling was really snorkeling this time to me was more fun than what I'd done in Andamans because yeah. I, I think where we did snorkel in the Andamans wasn't very like reefy and stuff like that so you didn't see as much as we did in Sri Lanka but mm-hmm. yeah we did both we can do we can go to Thailand as much as I don't want to go there but like I really 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 one day in my life want to do Australia yeah Okay, we have to go. Okay. Okay, bye guys. We have to go. See you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into this Q&A episode. And, 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 <laughs> and pursue your sporting dreams, children. Yeah, because we're still trying to. I'm totally doing it. Alright. See you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. bye. <laughs>